guys, it's your girl Fit Sid, and I'm actually back with another video today. Today, I just finished a long day of shooting. I'm super tired, but then I got the package from SheFit, and I got three sports bras in the mail that I paid for with my own money, and I figured, you know what? We are going to see if these are actually going to pass the bounce test and if they're worth it. So as you guys may or may not know, my name's Sydney, also known as Fit Sid here on YouTube. I have gone from gaining a ton of weight to losing a ton back to being heavier. I am currently a 38 triple D, maybe a little more than that, but like that's all I'm letting myself buy um, for bras right now. So I figured I was going to test these out and uh, see. So. I have my door open right now if you guys can hear so I apologize but one of the biggest things that I always have trouble with is like with working out you know the girls just bounce they just go everywhere so I figured you know what let's test this out let's see if these are actually great I've seen a ton of Facebook ads for it so uh I just kind of wanted to I kind of wanted to give my own opinion so with that being said I ordered these with my own money so this is my own opinion. I'm not making money off this. As you guys know, I don't even think I have AdSense on my my channel anymore. So uh, with that being said, this is just for fun. Um, if you guys want to follow me on any of my socials, I will have them linked down below. So first, I just want to show you guys what I got. And then I'm going to try them on and come back on camera and show you and then um, tell you what I really think. Okay, so this sports bra is from Amazon. I'm clearly wearing right now. This is what it looks like. Just so you can see, bounce test. You see, after I'm still sitting, it still moves. So I just wanted to show you guys that there is padding in it that like <laughs> doesn't even like sit where my boobs sit. But um, this one I consider to be pretty supportive in all honesty in comparison to like a lot of the ones that I have. So I want to test it compared to this where it's supposed to be supportive. So I ordered this in Lux. Um, the ultimate white and they come in a really cute bag that says wake up kick ass repeat So we're just gonna open this so this one is in the size luxe So they they kind of have a different sizing chart. It's like small medium luxe one luxe two luxe all that So it's like kind of like large um, And then you can see it's obviously from the brand she fit and it yeah, this one's like really interesting. I'm very, very interested. This is going to be non-biased, obviously. I'm going to tell you if it's worth the $60 to $80 that these cost. Um, it looks like this. It's white. I'm going to go through the other ones to show you. I got one in a bigger size than these two in the Lux size. So, it just looks like this. This one is... Oh, wow. They give you the laundry bag. That's awesome. So, this bag is for you to wash it in that's and they're supposed to fit two bras so that's awesome but um has a zipper it does have padding just like this one um the zipper seems to be like really good quality yeah it's definitely like a higher quality zipper um and then it doesn't let it catch like it covers here which <laughs> that's a honestly a blessing i've actually zipped my chest up before and stuff and i like that it just covers so that's this one the first one I showed you is called the ultimate that's like the name of the bra and then um, I got the flex in two different sizes so I got the ultimate in one size that I think will fit me and then I got the ultimate in two sizes just so I could compare I do like this bag better it's pink and it feels softer as a laundry bag for some reason this one's like a lot rougher of a material and this one's soft so opening this one up this one is in the same size as the other one which is just Lux, which is considered large this one is more expensive is $69 the first one is 65 and then the last one that I'm gonna show you is 78 so I honestly like this one a lot I like the gold um, I don't see anything that bothers me yet it's more like once I try it on there is no padding in it it's just straight fabric it is definitely dual paneled and those are the same size and then the last one same kind of laundry bag it actually is super nice you know they have different names so this one said these two say get your game on so that's kind of cool and i got it in orange so i figured i'm on like that teetering edge of like being a lot bigger in the chest right now and i'm trying to lose weight so i figured i could get like a bigger size and just try and like if they fit cool if they don't i have friends that can wear these but this is just really pretty and the details just amazing so I figured this would work 
So I am actually from first glance. I know that these are two different styles. So we're going to compare just the black and the white because I think the yellow, because it's different size and everything, I just want like the same size and just to be able to compare. So initially this one definitely has more like mesh um, and breathability and then the padding. And then, I mean, it has the adjustable back and straps. And then this one doesn't have any padding in it. It doesn't have the mesh and it has like prettier design. This one's a lot more simple, and I like simple, so I'm not against that. But this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to throw on the first one, the white one, and then I'm going to throw on the black one. Um, and then I'm going to throw on the yellow, and I'm going to tell you how the size fits and everything like that. So I'm going to throw these on, and then I'm going to check in with you. Okay, I just want to say I'm 99% sure that if I were to try to even zip this up, my boobs won't fit. And uh, I'm pretty sure if I tried, I would zip my boob into it. So, um... It's definitely not a thing. We're gonna try it up here for a second and just like zip it if possible and then try to pull my boobs through it. I mean, I feel like that's like my best bet. Okay. Cause I think like I, I, I have like mushy boobs. So like if you got fake boobs, you definitely would not be this size, but mine are so mushy I can move them around and make them work. Whew. All right, I got them in. So. This is what it looks like on. As you can tell, I'm definitely overflowing the sides, the top. The bottom's not really overflowing, obviously, because they're pulled up. But, like, if you guys were to see, let's see. There's, like, a double line right here. Like, that's not supposed to happen. That's because they're so squished in there. <sighs> this, honestly, I think I can breathe. Like, I think I can. It was just, like, a real big struggle. Like, I had to keep it. I had to put it on and then zip it above my boobs so push them down and then pull them up from underneath and put them in um which if you have like harder toned boobs like i don't mine are very like like pillows um i don't think this is the bra for you or the, at least the size i literally have it on the last section if you can see this side yeah it's like on the very last set bit i didn't even adjust the top because i didn't have to because the top was fine but overall, this is the Lux. I would definitely be a size up. Um, so I'm really disappointed because, <laughs> I mean, the size chart, I'm probably, like, similar, you know? But, um, yeah, not really sure. We're going to find out, though. I'm going to try it on this one, and maybe it'll be different. Um, not really sure, though. This is kind of, like kind of scary honestly because like, these are so expensive and normally I'm like a large or an extra large but their sizing is just interesting so I, I obviously knew I needed to try 1x so we're gonna try this one as you can see this one it's like oozing out um so we're gonna try and undo it so like oh okay that was <laughs> okay so this one definitely doesn't fit Holy good Jesus. Oh my God. This one is a lot tighter. Okay. They don't even fit. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, these are so not fitting. Like, it's definitely falling out the bottom, like, so easily. Um, the straps are definitely, like, could be adjusted. But, like, not by much. Like, I'm pretty sure. Oh, baby. Yeah, these are way too tight. Um, yeah. This is, this is not going to work. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, like, I'm not this size, okay? Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to have to loosen this one because this one's, like, literally meant for my size, most likely. Like, the other ones, like, didn't really fit. Okay, so I'm putting it on just, like, over, like, the way I did with the other ones just to show. So, clearly I already have more room. And then pulling the girls in. It's still tight, actually. Like, in all honesty, I don't know what's wrong with my boobs, but we're going to try and adjust it. In all honesty, you guys, I'm not that impressed. I don't actually think it's worth the money. But, like, okay. Yeah, we're going to do the balance test, and you guys are going to understand what I'm saying. So, basically, this is how it fits. This one's more my size. Like, I definitely should have tried the Flex one. 
no the ultimate sports bra which was $65 in the white I should have gotten a size up for sure but I'm still spilling out on the sides and the top a size higher and I don't feel like this is like that great and I also feel like it's just too tight and not comfortable like here I don't know the material is not comfortable but watch this we're gonna compare side to side original bounce test in the Amazon sports bra that was like 20 bucks versus this which this one was $78 ready see like this is not worth it okay so even though I didn't fit the other two don't spend your money on this product it does not do what it needs to do it's cute like I'm probably still gonna wear this for something but like you know what I'm probably gonna wear this tonight because this matches my leggings but it's not that comfortable and honestly I'm still spilling out the top I mean I don't think I'm a size bigger in all honesty because right here totally loose right here it's just not the right material like it fits but it's just not I don't know there's something about it that's just not the best so obviously this is the only one that actually fits um, I still don't recommend it I still don't think it's something that you guys should go and spend your money on but because I did spend my money on this and I don't want it to just go and sit in my closet or sit in a drawer I want to give these away to someone who needs workout bras two of them white and black um, these are from she fit they are not as high impact as I assumed they would be because obviously bounce test but I know that they will go to a good home I know that they're still high quality it's just um, if you're a D cup or around that or you think you would fit go to their size guide so just comment what you're grateful for and then your Instagram and then I will just direct message you on Instagram when you won. Literally I will pick the winner in a week. So a week from posting this, I will on day 8 DM you on Instagram. I'll set a reminder on my phone when I upload this video and um, yeah. So hopefully these go to a good home and just tell me what you're grateful for and your Instagram and you'll be entered to win. I actually have plans with one of my friends Kat. And we are going to go eat some Korean barbecue tonight. And I'm going to wear this outfit to Korean barbecue, you guys. But it's actually, like, getting more comfortable. It's just not the most comfortable. Like, I definitely would not work out in this. Um, I also think that... Yeah. If you like any of the jewelry that I'm wearing today, you will find it linked down below. This video is sponsored by 3wishes.com. They have everything from swimwear, costumes, accessories, lots of fun stuff that you can get year round, very reasonably priced. And today I got three different mermaid tops from their website and they're not necessarily meant for swimwear, but I think you could if you wanted to. First one I have is from Roma Costumes. This is padded. I don't know if you can see, but it's pretty thick padding. It's not push up. It's just padding and it feels very high quality and this is a beautiful color. I love this. I feel like this reminds me of Ariel's tail. Wow. So this one, I don't think my bubbies are very large per se. I am a 32D which is actually pretty small. This has no push up but just the way that it is tied makes them look very blessed. I actually like this a lot. It has a lot of coverage on the side. This feels very high quality and it is just a costume top, but with the way the material feels, I would definitely feel safe going in the water with it. The second top I got is from Leg Avenue. This one is gold. This one's not sparkly, it's just like metallic. I got all of these in a size small. These have adjustable straps. This one looks more like a bikini top. This one might be my favorite. This one is a little loose around the waist. I thought this was gonna be my favorite, but it's definitely not. I just cut this up a little bit. What I did was I cut the strap so instead of them going down back here, I have it so that I've tied it around the neck. Also how it was loose around the waist, instead of using the clasp, I just tied it. There is a weird indent right here. I think I just fixed it. I like it, but not as much as the other one. The quality is good, but not as good as the last one. The way that it came made and how it was meant to fit, I don't think was the greatest. But if you spruce it up like I just did, I don't think it looks too bad. The last one I got is from J. Valentine or Valentine. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. This one is also padded. No push-up. This is really stretchy. This is what the back looks like. This one's really pretty. Shimmery blue color. I love this one so much. This is the most costumey piece, but it's my favorite. I feel 
so like a mermaid right now. It's more padded than the other ones were. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. I wish I had a mermaid tail right now. <laughs> I highly recommend this one for sure. All of these tops come in other colors. These are just the ones that I chose for the video. But they all come in multiple colors. So I think these were all great choices. Very high quality, beautiful colors. The sizing is perfect. I got small and that's true to size. If you're interested in any of these mermaid themed tops, go to threewishes.com and I will also have them linked down below. Remember, they also have every other type of costume out there. So any theme that you're looking for throughout the year, make sure you check them out. Halloween is coming up. Plan your costumes now. <laughs> And welcome to our channel. So if you are new, then I'm Marissa. And I'm Gabrielle. And we are the Green, Green Twins. So if you're new to the channel, then please like and subscribe. And also ring the bell to get notifications for when we post. If you're not new, thanks for the love and support. We love you. So we're going to be doing a bikini try on haul. We have five bikinis to review each. So they vary in colour, sizes, price. And we're going to talk you through one from Primark, all of us into River Island, Asda, and show you all First up, I'm going to be reviewing a pineapple bikini from Matalan. I really like the pineapple because I like the quote, be a pineapple. Be a or pineapple. be a pineapple, wear a crown. tall, <laughs> stand tall, wear a crown, be sweet on the inside. Normal bikini bottoms, so they're not too high leg, I'm not too keen on the thong ones that go in your bum. Anything you dislike about it. <laughs> it's like a ruffled effect, it can make your boobs look a little bit saggy. All in all, I'll try it on and see what you guys think. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never bagginess of it. Saggy. Because it's so tight here, it doesn't come down, which is really good. <laughs> Back. They're not fully high rise, but they're not fully covering either. Bottom of a four pound and the top of six pounds. First one that I'm going to review is one from New Look and I love this bikini because of the colours. I absolutely love bright colours as you can probably tell. D is blue and yellow which is Legion United colours and Legion Rhino. Just got like that string there but quite a thick string. I don't really like tie bikinis either so this is just all the way around. Really supportive elastic so it like holds you in. I thought you had the bottom of the front email. Can you hear me? And goose and sassel they don't come together. So it's a really thick dirty one so it's not going to come undone. We've got the tie strap again love it because it's adjustable from the top and it's also slightly padded as well top from new look was eight pounds bottoms were 12 pounds <laughs> but <laughs> i just hate when it's yeah <laughs> sorry <laughs> so i'm gonna try that on it's very 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 supportive like it's nice and thick very stiff so it would stay up so so you can undo it and you can sunbathe and you can have it down. The bottoms, they sit quite nicely, they're not in your bum and they're not covering you too much. They've got that nice ribbon. I will also be reviewing a bikini that I bought from Lula. I love this bikini because it's a real holiday vibe. It's got the like flowered print on it, the real Hawaiian. It's a padded bikini, this one. It, like really supports you. So you choose whatever bra size you are and that's what top you get. Fold the neck and then it clasps together. <laughs> Class together <laughs> like so. Oh, these ones actually tie at the side. You do have to adjust it. You have to get it perfect. Otherwise, like one side goes really high and the other side like really low. I think I paid about twenty five pounds for this bikini. Try that one on for you. She just wanna do it for the grand. It's quite stiff cups because it is padded. If you undo the strap, you can just chill with it up and sunbathe. So next up, I have a bikini from Asda. I was actually food shopping in Asda and then I got lost down the clothing bikini aisle. And you're just shopping for not clothes and you end up buying for yourself. So this bikini is definitely a catfish bikini. It's literally like very thick padding. So spongy. When I wore it, I went in the water, got back out, squeezed it and basically the whole pool fell out of the bikini. <laughs> The bottoms do have ties at the side, but it's not a tie bikini. Thick, thick tie bikini. The whole bikini is thick. The whole, it's quite thick actually at the back, like it does cover your bum quite a lot. Which I know now the style is 
fully just get your bum out with everything that you wear. For me, I definitely need to cover my bum up a bit more and not have it all out. My bum out eats bikini bottoms anyway. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> No. Quite see through. I don't know if it was see through when I wore it, but now I'm looking at it, it could have been. The top was six pounds and the bottoms were four pounds. Actually, no, I don't think it was. Bruh. The top was ten pounds and then five pounds for the see through bottoms. I gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. This is the catfish bikini, babes. I'm getting used to this bikini. Fab. I have two bikinis from River Island. Now I absolutely love River Island for bikinis. That is my like go-to shop and I go there every single year. The nice style, must my jewels, glitter. I have this bikini from River Island, so it's like a teal colour. And then I bought another bikini from River Island and it has the same teal colour in it. You can tell that they use the same sort of material throughout. The first one's a bandeau, got the little metal studs on it. The back I really like strings going across. One of those strings you can actually pull over your head and it can become an alternate. Um, <laughs> so you can say alter. I thought you said an alter. A halter neck like this. The bottoms still got the metal design on them. Has removable pads in it. It's a really good idea just to have like, just because mm. if it's cold outside, then you can't sort of see your <laughs> through. Or if you've got, <laughs> can you see that? I probably won. <laughs> it's cold outside, then you are protected. This was around twenty because it reminds me of Princess Jasmine. We are from Disney. Hell no. The next bikini is this red one, and this one's from Primark. I really wanted a red bikini. I absolutely love it. Like these on it triangular shape it's whole to neck i wouldn't say it's as sturdy as the clasps just because it's really really small and i love the pattern the netting which is in fashion you keep putting it in front of your face can you hear me oh, okay these are quite low actually at the front because they've got that netting there it just covers you up i really struggle with my ones like you have to get them perfect four pounds for the bottoms and four pounds for the top something off beer watch Bum, it's covering it okay. Can go on your bum a little bit, and that's because of the tie size. Yeah. But this one, remember when the triangle bikinis were all in fashion? It looks really funny to put it on because you have to put it on backwards, like a backpack, <laughs> and then you just flip it around the front. I think that's really cool. I really like it. When you're taking it off, it's just really easy. You get undressed. There we go. Fill <laughs> in pads again for protection. Here's the bottom. You can actually adjust that buckle. It goes on really well. The neon colours in it are absolutely beautiful. And this one was actually £30 on the head. Absolutely love it because it's quite a stiff bikini. If you want to take the straps down and sunbathe with it, that's fine as well. Okay, so this is one of my favourite bikinis. I absolutely love how it's white on one side and then black on the other. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Oh my goodness, it's just broken. This is one of my favourite bikinis. Snapped completely, look. Love the colour difference in the back as well. I like it. This is a swimsuit. I haven't seen one of these before. Yep, yeah, I'll show you mine at the same time as well. These ones are actually from Aditha. You can find some really nice bikinis and costumes, swimsuits. People abroad basically live in bikinis all the time. I think you're like 2 to 30 euros. So this swimsuit is adjustable. So you can put it over, have a strap on it and just simply adjust it. Or the straps clip completely off so you can have it off as well. And you can have it strapless. It's very, very supportive in the back. Like very, very thick. Absolutely love the design on the bikini. <laughs> I can't really lift this arm up, otherwise it'll come down. But I can lift this arm up so I can smile and wave with this one. But I do like the cut. Good for pictures. Nice and supportive. Does cover quite a lot of your bum bum actually. I'm gonna cut now to the shout out from the couple's vlog. So the challenge where we gave the boys £100 to go and choose our outfit. The comment that we liked the best was from Fay Ball. You two are so cute. I hope me and my twin sister have this relationship when we are older. Oh, thank you so much. 
best comment we'll get a shout out in our next vlog hope you liked our try on haul guys hope it give you some inspo for the summer and thank you so much for watching this video we really